Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from JNH Aerospace, and this is the protege from JNH Aerospace for the 2021 Science Olympiad Elastic Launch Glider Contest season. This is a more or less entry level airplane for that class. Uh, uses blue foam, uh, XPS styrofoam for the uh, for the majority of the flying surfaces with balsa wood to provide strength as needed. We're going to talk about how to trim these airplanes. There is a video in the description from last year's uh, trimming experience with this airplane that is fairly similar. However, in this season we're not separating the flaps on this glider, so these wings are not actually uh, do not actually have flaps so trimming is a little bit different in that you don't have to be concerned about that part of the wing flexing the tips are still fairly flexible so we'll trim accordingly with that so we're going to start with the conventional protege and then we'll move on to trimming the canard which is slightly different so to make your catapult take your catapult handle and make a loop of rubber is about the same length as your catapult like that and we're going to take this loop of rubber and we're going to tie basically a granny knot in it just like that and then we're going to snip it to size so now I have this loop of rubber take your catapult and what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. So we're going to set this mount right here, going to pull it apart with our fingers like that and I'm going to slide the rubber through just like that. So now I can slip it around and then I'm going to take my super glue, CA glue, whatever you want to call it, that's clogged. And I'm going to put a dab of glue on there just to keep this from coming off. Just like that. So now I have a catapult ready to go for my protege glider. So to get started, you can do your initial trimming in your living room or out in your yard on a calm day, and then you can move on from there. So what we first want to do is verify that this airplane glides correctly. So we're going to turn around here, we're going to look down that way, and we're going to give this airplane a test glide. And so since the airplane's CG is fairly close, we know it's balanced right about there, we know it should not be diving in. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some up elevator. Now since I'm right handed and I want this airplane to turn to the right, I want to go on the left side to add my up elevator. And I'm just gently going to, or maybe not so gently, going to bend this up at that angle. So you can see I've bent it up just a little bit there. And so now we'll give it another test glide. Now it looks a little bit better. It's maybe still a little bit nose heavy. So we're going to add just a smidge more of that up elevator trim in here. Now the other thing I noticed was that the airplane went straight and I want it to turn to the right. So I'm going to bend a vertical tail for a right hand turn just like that now I see a lot of you guys wanting to bend this thing over like this that does nothing except reduce your effective vertical tail area making the airplane fly poorly you have to bend this direction in the vertical plane so let's see what the airplane does now oh very nice we see that the airplane has a smooth glide slope and is starting to turn to the right. So now that we have the airplane flying correctly in that manner, we're going to hold it in front of the leading edge of the wing and we're going to chuck it forward to see what happens. So we're going to throw it a little bit harder. And we don't want to throw it up. We want to throw it level or slightly nose down like this. Now you notice the airplane did not stay pointing nose down. It curved up. That's okay. That does mean we may need to take some of that up elevator out and compensate for the reduced glide by taking a little bit of clay off of the nose. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take some of that up ele elevator out. And I'm going to take a little bit of clay. A little bit of clay off the nose of the airplane. Okay, I don't know how well that showed up, but the airplane started diving off. So we want that up elevator back in there. All right, so we're going to try that once more. Okay, that looked pretty good. All right, so let's try, I'm going to tilt this over to try to force a dive in in that direction and see what happens. Okay. All right, so what we did see is that the airplane did tend to want to fall in a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist this left wing. This is the left wing you're looking from the back. We're going to twist it up this way to try to raise that tip. Now we're not doing it out here, we're doing it at the root. So you may hear a little bit of a cracking sound there. Just a little bit. And that's going to give us a little bit of wing twist. Let's see, there we go. May need a smidge more. Just a smidge. Oh, if you can even see that this is at a slightly lower angle than this so let's try one more time oh yeah there we go see so the airplane when i launched it it leveled out and continued around and that's where we want to be before we begin catapult launching the airplane all right so we're out here now that we've got this airplane basically uh, set up for the initial part of the flying. We're going to launch it level again into whatever wind you have. And we see. So, what you saw is the airplane rolled off again. So, we're going to have to twist that left wing some more. Alright, so what we're going to do is grab this left wing and imagine a crease line along, like so. I'm just going to bend that up there. I've got a crease forming here, and I'll have to hit that with glue eventually um, to stabilize that. That may have been a little much. That's about right. So you can see the amount of wing twist we've got right here. All right, still cranking in a little. All right, so we're going to twist a little bit more here. And then I'm actually going to take some glue, and I'm going to make that warp uh, stay put. More rubber bands. Oops. So we need a little on the top. on the bottom. Just like that. into the tree all right the airplane's going a little bit flat so we're going to add some more of that up elevator trim there so you can see i've got a fair amount bent in there and let's try this once more we're going to increase the angle we're launching up to about here and hopped into a glide uh i'd like that to come back sometime please Yes, please. Well, that was uh, interesting. So what you have seen is uh, that outside, sometimes you have some interesting air currents like thermal updrafts. So the airplane was kind of sucked into one and carried downwind. Um, I am going to add a little bit more right rudder in here. Not sure how much of that we actually need. 
um, because uh, although the airplane was going straight, a lot of that uh, was due to um, once it pushed its nose down, the uh, wing wash here took over and made the airplane not want to turn like it's supposed to. So we're going to try another shot here. We're going to see what happens. And yeah, that wasn't the right thing to do. All right, so I'm taking some of that rudder out. Uh, actually going to increase the, I'm actually going to go over on this side and twist this side the opposite way a little bit or not. No, can't do that easily. So we're just going to increase the wing twist here a little bit. Also going to add a little bit more up elevator just because I'm not completely satisfied with how that's going. Let's try that. Now with this wind, it may get a little interesting, so not everything makes sense. Like that. <laughs> that looping was definitely a problem, though. That's not all from the wind. So I'm going to take some of that up elevator back out, add that right rudder back in, because with that wing twist, um, seems like it was doing a little too much. And... Wind can go elsewhere. It was nice and calm earlier. Alright, there we go. That's what we're talking about. And it is turning mostly correctly. Mostly. There we go. Turn. There we go. All right, we're going to try to get some more footage when it calms down a little more out here, but what you can see is that the airplane is launching up, sliding off into the glide, and gliding well. Um, the problem is we're running into enough turbulence that it's not establishing that left, uh, sorry, that right-hand turn very well in the glide, and I think that's mainly just because of turbulence. Uh, but if, if, in the event that the airplane is not wanting to turn correctly, then we would start, continue adding in rudder, and add wing twist as needed to keep the airplane from rolling over on launch. All right, it's acting a little nose heavy, so I'm taking a smidge of clay off of the nose. We'll try again. Maybe. All right, I took another smidge of clay off the nose, and I'm also going to add in some stab tilt. So I'm going to twist the tail here like this. So now this side of the stab is higher than this side, so it'll tend to lift this direction and pull the nose around to the right. And that should only really kick in in the glide. All right, we're still not getting a consistent glide circle, so I'm going to add some more right rudder back in there. Just try to force it to circle on around. Come on. Tiny bit more right rudder. And there we go, now it's staying in the turn. Alright, I'm going to 
to take a tiny bit more clay off the nose. I feel like it's still just plowing around. Notice I'm tilting over to the left to keep it from rolling over on the orange. There we go. Alright, let's talk about trimming our canard glider. These are much different. Um, lots of interesting things happen. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start with trying to establish a nice glide with this airplane. So we're going to hold it about where the center of gravity is and we're just going to slide it forward nose down. And we can see the airplane just goes into a terminal dive, so we need to fix that. Since the airplane is entering a terminal dive, we are going to bend the trailing edge of our canard down a little on both sides. So we're just trying to get some curvature to that trailing edge of the wing, sorry, canard. We don't want too much, we want just a little bit. So I don't know if you can even see that, it's just curved down a little bit on both sides. You can see, curved up since I've got it upside down. Alright, let's see how it glides now. Yeah, so we're still going in a little bit, but the airplane also pulled off to the left and we don't want that, we want it to turn to the right. Alright, so I'm going to add some right rudder, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to bend this rudder over this way. I'm not going to bend it that way, I'm going to bend it this way. So you can see now that little bit of angle right there. That's my right rudder trim. I'm also going to add a little bit more that adjustment to my canard so you start to see the, um, the angle right there. Let's give it another glide. Oh there we go. Looking nice. Needs a little more turn but it's looking nice. Alright so we're going to give it a little more turn yet. Some more of that rudder trim like that. And I am going to give it just a smidge more of that up elevator trim. Just trying to get it to have a real nice glide. Now it may try to loop on me, and if all else fails, I may have to actually cut that canard off and slide it forward, or add some uh, clay to the tail to shift the CG back. That's looking very, very nice right there. I've got a steady right hand glide. Uh, the airplane's flying a little nose low, but not too bad, and we don't want it to fly too slowly or it tends to become unstable. So that's about where we want to be before we begin catapult launching. So we have our canard outside now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of catapult tests and see what happens. So when we launched this airplane, everything looked good except it just kept cranking in to the right. So we need some wing twist to counteract our right rudder. So what we're going to do is we're going to twist the wing like this. So imagine a crease line along here. I'm just twisting that a little bit. Now you can see there's a little bit of twist right there. Maybe even a little too much, but we'll see in just a minute. Alright, so what we saw was that the airplane came up over the top, dropped in, um, but once it got started, had a very nice right hand turn. So what we're going to do to counteract all that pitching up is we're going to take out some of this uh, up elevator trim and the reason why we uh, are needing to take that out is because by bending 
this wing up like that, that's like adding up elevator. Okay, so seeing that, you would think that that means that I need to add more wing twist because the airplane came over the top. But once it once it entered that dive, it didn't continue that way. It straightened out and was starting to recover. So what we need is uh, to tilt the airplane to the left a little on launch and actually pull back a smidge harder. Like that. And... I don't know where our right turn went. All right, one thing you can do with canards is you can tilt the canard in the direction you want to turn. So I'm going to try to twist this fuselage a little bit. And it worked. That was actually a little too much. So now the canard is tilted this way a little bit, which will help us turn more to the right. That may affect our launch. We're just going to have to wait and find out. Eh. Right, it's getting thrown around like a paper bag in the wind at this point. I am going to try adding a little more wing twist just to see. However, with this wind, um, we're at the limit of the airplane's ability to fly. There we go. That's what we want to see. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more uh, up elevator trim on the right side here. Hopefully that'll help us hold things up just a smidge there. Or not. Alright, we're going to start, try tilting to the left some more. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to take out a little bit of the right rudder. I think it's overpowering things. We'll try again. There we go. Very nice glide. That's what we want right there. Nice. And it's in a the thermal. Hopefully it'll come back. As you can see, canards are capable of very impressive performance. Um, I still don't think it's necessarily going to overcome the performance of a conventional model, uh, but they're a lot of fun to experiment with, and now you see um, not only can they fly, you can actually lose it in a thermal if you're flying outside. So exercise some caution when flying this airplane, and there you go. That is a trimmed out uh, protege canard. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.